Hi, this is Camille from RudoConsulting.com. In this video, I will be showing you our online calculator, which can help you estimate your hourly calls and create a successful shift design for your call center. You can find this tool by going to our website, RudoConsulting.com, and clicking on the online tools menu item here. So this is our tool right here. It's divided into two parts. The first part called Setup and Assumptions, second part called Hourly Forecast Detail, and the first part is where we specify most of our call volume and operational assumptions as well as, as the shift design. The second part gives us our hourly forecast including calls, uh, agents, occupancy, and also wait times. So to use this tool you want to start by filling out this top right portion of the tool. You can enter your total daily calls as well as average handle time. You can specify what time your call center opens, how long it's open for and the close time. You can use any value for the open hours between 1 hour and 24 hours. In which case when you use 24 hours you might just need to scroll this tool to the right to see the full view of your call center operating hours. You can also enter your average patience. What average patience stands for, this is the time that your callers are willing to wait for their call to be answered before they hang up. So if I have 240 seconds right here, that means that on average after 4 minutes my callers will hang up and some of them will try calling us again and in this case I have 80% of those who hang up will call us back again. Modifying these numbers will change your repeat calls in the table below. As you can see we only have um, 14 repeat calls for the entire day right now but if you lower this let's say to 40 seconds so average patience of 40 seconds that means your callers are very impatient. That increases your repeat calls. So you can play with these numbers, but use something that makes sense best if it's based on your historical data. You can also modify your agent shrinkage. Now, what is shrinkage? Shrinkage is the non-productive time at your call center. So even if you have, let's say, 100 agents scheduled to work today and you have a 30% shrinkage you will see that 30% of the 100 agents will not be available at any given time for example some of them might be in the washroom some of them might be taking a short break maybe someone went to pick up prints from the printing station and finally some of your agents might have called in sick so when you modify the shrinkage here, this will impact our calculations in the table below and you will see that agents available are not 100 but it's the 100 reduced by the 30% resulting in 70 agents. Now you can see that for the peak hour this is different, we have 85 agents available and that's because we have a separate field where you can specify your peak hour shrinkage. This is useful because Many call centers try to control the shrinkage during the peak hour, making sure that as many agents as are available and uh, as possible and that they don't take as many breaks, don't make any runs to the printing station and so on. So you also want to specify these numbers based on your experience from your call center. Finally, you can specify your service level target seconds. I have 20 in here, which means that I will be measuring my service level in terms of 20 seconds wait times. When you modify this, you can see that your service level will be based on 20 seconds, or if you enter 30, it will be based on 30 seconds. And so you can also limit your maximum allowed service level that is used in this table. Um, this field is useful uh, in a situation where you start reassigning your agents whenever your workload slows down. So I'm using 97% um, 
you can use whatever is best for your call center again base it on your experience finally if we move to the bottom part of this tool you can specify your hourly uh, call volume profile right here so what this means when you change these numbers you change the profile meaning if you enter a value for example 4 for the hour between 6 and 7 p.m. you can see that you're assuming that there, there are so many more calls that will arrive during that hour compared to all the other hours. The simple way of using this part of the tool is by entering your actual hourly call volume that you have so seen in the past. When you do that these values will be normalized and you have a normalized daily or hourly profile specified right underneath the chart here. All these values obviously add up to one, but the values that you enter don't need to add up to one. Now, once you have all of these assumptions specified, once you have your daily profile ready, you can start building your, um, your schedule design. 